Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Chopper here to break down the best bets from Saturday's MLB action. So do me a favor, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave a comment below. Let me know whatever it is that you guys are betting on today. Give yourself a chance to win some free prizes. And with that in mind, shout out to Jackson Walker. Yesterday, he said he was betting the Phillies and the Mets over seven and a half runs. The Mets only did it, almost did it single-handedly. They won the game 7-2, so the over hit. As a result, Jackson, you won your bet, and you also win one free week subscription to our premium betting Discord. Just message me on Twitter so I can get you set up with that for free. Uh, other than that, quick recap of my bets from yesterday, which didn't go great, to be uh, to be honest. Went one and two on my three bets from yesterday. I'll start with the one that won for yesterday's slate. That was under eight and a half strikeouts for Shane McClanahan, and you know, that was a number that was really uh, too big, I thought. And honestly, even though it won, I don't think that was a great bet either. So McClanahan looked much better than he had in some of his other recent starts. The second half of the year has been a little bit of a struggle for McClanahan. His FIP is way up, his ERA, expected ERA. All the underlying numbers have not been as strong for Shane McClanahan in the second half of the year. And the thing that really stood out to me was the decrease in strikeout rate. But with that said, he looked really good. He was able to register eight strikeouts. So the under hit, but I wasn't super satisfied with that bet in hindsight. I thought I got a little bit lucky with that one. The other bets I had, Graham Ashcraft under four and a half strikeouts. Ashcraft looked great yesterday. And that's what I found with betting the under for Ashcraft is it's like it, it's winning something like 70% of the time is under strikeouts for you. But the times that it loses, he's like way over. It was like a strikeout match, a matchup against the Giants. I think he had it was seven or eight strikeouts and hit the over in the second inning of that start. And yesterday was kind of more of the same. He just crushed the Pirates, looked really good. And then Matt Manning under four and a half strikeouts, another young pitcher who just pitched really well against the Angels. I thought the return of Mike Trout would be enough to limit the overall strikeouts of Matt Manning, and I was incorrect on that. So Matt Manning looked really good, had a strong start against the Angels, was able to rack up some strikeouts and hit the over. So it was a one and two day yesterday. Always try to be transparent and give you guys the results. But for Saturday, I've got more bets lined up, and here they are right now. To start us off, I'm looking at under four and a half strikeouts for Chris Archer against the Texas Rangers. Archer has pitched better as of late, but here's always the issue I have with the over-unders for Chris Archer. He just doesn't work very deep into games this season. And uh, also, I mean, the strikeout rate is not quite what it was in previous years, which it, that's obvious at this point. There was a point in time where Archer is one of the best pitchers in baseball. Now he's a middling pitcher, 4.15 ERA, 4.73 expected ERA, and his strikeout rate is at 20.2%, which is the lowest mark of his career. But to me, when I look at the strikeouts more than anything, and why I think it's so difficult to expect five-plus strikeouts for Chris Archer, he has gone more than five innings exactly zero times this season. And more often than not, he's been well under that. So recent starts for Archer, four innings, five innings, four and a third innings, three innings, four and two-thirds innings, four innings, five innings, four innings, four innings. So that's typically what we're looking at from Archer. Right around four innings, I think, should be the expectation from him. He's going up against the Rangers team. It's certainly not a great offense, but it's not like it's one of the worst offense in baseball. It was just below average against right-hand pitching. And when it comes to Archer, like I said, if he's only going to be throwing four innings on average, it's hard to expect five or more strikeouts in a pitcher only has a 20% K rate. So our projections over at Odd Chopper, we have Archer for 4.1 strikeouts. And there's something else to consider here. It's even money odds about on the under the juice here is on the over for four and a half which is really what leads me to liking the under here if we were if it was like minus 110 or minus 120 on under four and a half i would stay away wouldn't have interest but where it's close to even money on under four and a half that's where it makes more sense so we have this with a 20 percent expected roi and a lot of it's because of the juice being on the over if the line moves later on the day i would stay away from archer but as long as you get like a minus 105 even money maybe even plus money under four and a half strikeouts makes sense for me when it comes to Chris Archer. If you guys are interested in free money, you're going to want to sign up at DK Sportsbook using the link in the description box below. Because when you place a $5 bet over on DraftKings, either on the UFC tonight or on any NFL preseason game, they're going to give you 200 bucks, And that is it. That is all there is to it. You just have to click on that link in the description box below. And sure, maybe you aren't somebody who avidly bets NFL preseason. Maybe you don't bet the UFC, but it's 200 bucks for free. And so if you haven't signed up at DK Sportsbook, you take advantage of this offer. It doesn't even matter if that $5 bet wins or not. And you should check out the other content we have on the YouTube channel. I give out some UFC bets for today. We've got Lofi. He's been doing a lot of really good NFL preseason stuff. So you can check out any of those videos. Use that to help place your $5 bet at DK Sportsbook. And then you're going to be getting 200 bucks for free. So don't pass up this opportunity. We've had other offers like this, and they don't usually last for long. So you haven't signed up at DK Sportsbook. 
Do it by clicking on the link in the description box below and collect your 200 bucks. The next bet I'm looking at, it's under 16 and a half outs for Kyle Bradish. And it's funny because a lot of the analysis that I just gave out when it came to Chris Archer, it's going to apply to Bradish as well in terms of he's just not a guy that goes very deep into games. And that's what we're betting on here. We're just betting that he's going to get under 16 and a half strikeouts. So you look at Kyle Bradish and, you know, he's been pretty consistent as of late. A lot of starts where it's, you know, four innings, five innings, two, three earned runs, five strikeouts but he just very rarely gets to that 16 and a half strikeout mark. So we more, we just need him to not finish the sixth inning here and we'd be looking good. And when is the last time he completed six innings? You have to go all the way back to May 10th against the St. Louis Cardinals, his third start of the season. Since then, he has not had a single start where he's gone the over on this outs mark, his recent outings, four and two thirds innings, five and a third, five innings, five innings, four and a third, four and a third, four and two thirds, four and two thirds, one and two thirds innings. He very rarely goes deep into games. And I think it's twofold. Number one, he got injured at one point in the season. I think the Orioles are just trying to be cautious with him. And then point two, he's pretty inefficient with his pitch count. He strikes out a lot of guys, but he also walks a lot of hitters, kind of makes it difficult for a pitcher to go deep into games when he gets to the fifth inning. And it's like, well, he's already over 90 pitches because he's walked four hitters and he struck out five which is what happened in his last start. Four walks, five strikeouts to start before. Two walks, four strikeouts to start before that. Three walks, five strikeouts. The start before that against the Reds, he pitched great. Seven strikeouts, no walks, but still only five innings because it was taxing for him to get to those seven strikeouts from an overall pitch perspective. So I like the under in this spot. Once again, this is going to be buoyed by the strikeout and walk rate of Kyle Bradish, 22.5% K rate, 9.1% walk rate. And then that is also combined with the Orioles just being a little cautious with the young pitcher who uh, it seems like they like a little bit. 25 years old, Bradish is shown to have good stuff this year. And I know the results might not show it, but there are some projection sources like Steamer who going forward do have Bradish being a pretty good pitcher. So I'm looking to take the under here with Kyle Bradish that is under 16 and a half strikeouts. That's my second prop bet for Saturday slate. And for my final bet of the day, I'm looking at under three and a half strikeouts for Dakota Hudson. This actually does have the highest win rate of any bet on Odd Shopper right now. From a prop perspective, Dakota Hudson, we have this prop winning 68% of the time, good for a 21% expected ROI. Now, I know a lot of you are probably looking at this and saying, well, three and a half strikeouts, it's a pretty low mark. Yeah, but go look at Dakota Hudson's strikeout rate. Super, super low this year. He has a 13.4% K rate. In the past, he's never been a high strikeout guy. But even by his standards, this is crazy low. 13.4%, that's the lowest of his career. His walk rate is also up this year at 10.8%. So that's concerning. And I, I think there's a couple things when it comes to Dakota Hudson. One thing that really stands out, big decrease in velocity this year. 91.6 average uh, fastball velocity. The first year broke into the big leagues, and he was a reliever then, so it makes sense that he'd be throwing harder. But he had a 97.3 average mile per hour fastball velocity. And even then, his first full year as a starter, his average fastball velocity was 94.1 in 2019. So this has been a pretty big downtick in terms of how hard Dakota Hudson is throwing. And I think we could point to that he missed basically all of 2021 with an injury. So we saw him take a year off. He was hurt, comes back, and now his fastball velocity is down a few miles per hour. I think that's the reason why we see the strikeout rate so much lower than it's been in the past. And then you start looking through his game log, and he was good in his last start. His his last outing against the Rockies, he had six strikeouts. But before then, two strikeouts, one strikeout, three strikeouts. So overall for the season, we have only seen two starts since June 7th that Dakota Hudson has racked up four or more strikeouts. So far more often than not, he's been at the under on this mark and also very similar to all the other pitchers I've talked about today, not working very deep into games. His recent starts, five innings, four innings, four and a third innings. And it's just always, like I said, with, with Chris Archer, hard for pitchers to rack out strikeouts when they're only throwing four or five innings in a start. So our uh, final bet of the day, under three and a half strikeouts for Dakota Hudson. So to recap, the bets that I have for Saturday's MLB slate, Chris Archer under four and a half strikeouts, Kyle Bradish under 16 and a half outs, and then Dakota Hudson under three and a half strikeouts. I didn't try to bet all unders, just the things that I ended up liking on the board, three pitcher props, three unders, and three pitchers that in general, I don't think are the best in the world. I think Bradish is probably better than the other two, but it's not really saying much because none of these pitchers are necessarily guys. They're going to be staples of teams rotations going forward. Now, do me a favor, though, also, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, but make sure to leave a comment below. We were getting a lot of comments earlier in the week, not quite as many in the last couple of days. 
and it takes a couple seconds to leave a comment. It also really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And I give away free subscriptions to our premium betting Discord. So if you want a chance to win, just leave a comment below. And I really do appreciate it a whole bunch. And also, thank you guys very much for watching the show. One more time, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Good luck today. Enjoy all the games. Have a great rest of the weekend. I'll be back and see you guys again here back on Monday.